Now I'm ready to put my schedule on a sheet to send to my client. So to create a new sheet, I'll go to the View tab up at the ribbon and select Sheet. And I'm going to pick a A3 sheet. You may have different title block families loaded into your project or available to you depending on the template and your location. I'll click OK. You can see I have a simple A3 sheet here. To get the schedule onto the sheet, you simply click on the schedule, then hold your left mouse button down and drag the schedule across. You can see how there's a little move and plus sign. Let go of the left mouse button and you can then place the schedule wherever you like. So I'm going to position it sort of in the top left here to the start of my schedule. And you can see how from the formatting lecture, this area is in square meters. So actually I want to change that back to horizontal, but this is just to show you how you can see the, the vertical heading orientation. I don't have to go back into the schedule. I can simply left click once on the room schedule in the project browser. And then you can see how the properties appear here. I can then click on formatting, go to the area, change the heading orientation to horizontal, click OK, and you can see that it resets to horizontal. Now, obviously, this schedule is too big for this sheet when it's all lined up together. But what I can do is I can split the schedule. So if I split the schedule, I can select it. You can see there's a little zigzag symbol in the middle, which if you hover over, it says split schedule table. So I left click that and you can see it's now created two columns and this little drag toggle at the bottom, this control toggle, I can drag up and it will change the extent of my schedule. So it's removed rows from the left column and move them into the right. So I need to do the same thing in this column here. I can click on the split schedule table toggle there and I can then move this down to suit. Now you can see how obviously the ground floor and first floor are not aligned. So what you can do is subtly click control and drag this I'll have to drag this down so that effectively I've got a blank line underneath and it brings up the first floor here. So it's now in line. I can do the same with the second floor. Click and drag. And you can see how many the second floor is now aligned. Obviously, if I start adding and removing and changing rooms, this layout may adjust because the number in each floor may change. So I might need to revisit this if I make any design changes in my model.